But as we move on to the next story, Kenyans have yet again reportedly made losses amounting to millions of shillings by falling prey to an online Ponzi-like scheme disguised as an e-commerce and referral app, namely Amazon Web Worker Africa. In the past few days, the app was deleted from Google Play Store without official communication to its users. By then, thousands of Kenyans had reportedly opened accounts with the app and started referring friends, referring family members to join in. Some of the investors had deposited up to 300,000 Kenya shillings. Hmm. Wow. So much stress, as in, especially during this time. I think kwa Kenya tumezoya kuibiwa. As in, this is just a thing. Mm. You know, pyramid schemes have been here since the days of Akina Desi. Akina Sijui Nini yeah. back then in the day. And people, every time they come, you are told, this is how these things work. Anything that you're being told, lazimu let them to mingine and you upate pesa. There is nothing like that. There is no business that works like that. I know, Kwach. It's just desperation. Uh, you know? And it's, also, and uh, my small reasoning was, someone said something online and they said, in any country, you should see the richest people in that country and understand what that country rewards. Mm. So when we look at our country and see some of the richest people in our society, we do not think that these people worked hard to get where they got. Mm. We still, that's why we believe in luck. That's why we believe in shortcuts. We don't think that this person went to school, started a company, uh, sold things to people. We don't have people making success because of selling mass product to people. No, we have people uh, telling you, eh, nilikuwa na uza makana, sasa mimi ni mdosi. Like, what happened in between? Oh, you I skipped. Th I thought you were going to say, I love mini governor now. And I'm like, because ah, that, <laughs> Cindy. I totally agree. Um, we are, all we see on television is, people quick flossing money. get rich quick schemes mm -hmm. i mean our entire <laughs> i know because we need this job i <laughs> cindy we want Let to be on air next week but next i agree week. with what quach says full stop <laughs> thank you thank you so much <laughs> so you. considerate <laughs> so considerate <laughs> So TV friendly, <laughs> job friendly, employment friendly. I appreciate it. I could see it though. It was it was right here. But I'm so sure our intelligent viewers understand exactly what it is that you were trying to say. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Quatch is right. We just see a lot of that. And then fueled by social media, which just yes. only highlights, you know, um, or rather shows only the highlights of people's lives. And you feel like, you know what, it's just me. Mm -hmm. So the minute you get a deal, the minute you hear at EO, we are here to do what, what you want to come up with. All, you want to join all these companies. And then yeah. they're telling you, you need to bring friends and families yeah. and then you uh, family members sorry and you think yeah. i have a hundred friends i only say the young yet i say yeah. even just get them to do this thing and then people lose a lot of money they do i just don't know how they keep falling prey does ignorance play a part as well and you know it, it does of course uh, poverty and ignorance comes is a very deadly uh, ingredient mm. when you mix them together you get very nasty things because now there's unemployment people are not going to school because they can't afford it some of them you know, even those who have gone to school, they don't see. We were having a conversation online the other day where people are actually discussing whether education is important or not in this country. If you think about education in this country as an investment, you are spending over 5 million shillings from nursery school up to university only to be jobless at the end. Yeah. A poor investment. But that mm. is the, that's the issue though. Yes. Education is not to get you a job. That's the, exactly. That, oh my God. It's Sin to create you... Yeah. To create you a job and to make you a better to person. Enable to enable you to live a quality life. Exactly. There you go. But that, not to get you a job. But you see, that's what they sing to us all yeah. the time. That's why when we come out yes. of school, you're like, but I did everything they said I should do. Like, mm -hmm. I have followed all, like, I have been top of my class yes. throughout my entire high school, primary, and now yeah, in right. uni. Like, then now you think, but life, I should get the job. But we are not taught to create those businesses. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because you teach. That's why you have all of these, you know, communities that teach one another yes. about right. businesses they then create generational wealth but um anyway time is running out we need to also read this next story that was pretty big on facebook